Hey guys, Russell here, Prime Motion Training. Well, now that our Victoria Police applicants are back in full swing preparing themselves for the entrance exam, I thought I might share a little tutorial around a particular type of numeracy skills question. So let's jump straight into the question and take a look at what we're dealing with. It says here that every 30 minutes the radio station offers 6 minutes of advertising space. How many 3 quarters of a minute ads can fit into a 6 minute block? All right, so there's our question here. How many three quarters of a minute ads can fit into a six minute block? So you might want to pause this video and take a second to have a go at that question and then we can go through the answer together. All right, whether you've done that or not, let's keep moving. Now there's some information here that's really not relevant and we don't need to take it into account when we're doing our calculations. Here it says every 30 minutes, the radio station offers six minutes of advertising space. That's really not relevant. It could be every three days, every 30 days, every three years, the radio station offers six minutes of advertising space. That's not really relevant. Certainly the rest of the information here, three quarters of a minute and a six minute block is very, very relevant. So let's take a look at that. All right, first things first, let's put some data at the top here. We've got six minutes and we know that's our advertising space. And we're gonna to need to divide that by three quarters of one minute. Okay, so let's look at how we can approach this. What we really want to try and do is get these two items to speak the same language. So in other words, we might need to convert a certain measurement into a different measurement in order for it to communicate with the other part of the calculation. But we need to keep the same value. We can't change the value, even though we might be converting the unit of measurement into something different. So for example, we've got six minutes here, but the question actually talks about three quarters of a minute. So what we can do when we're dealing with fractions is to take this whole number, the six minutes, and just simply place that over one. That, that keeps the same value, but now we have a fraction, and we can divide that by three quarters of one minute. All right, now when we're dividing fractions, there's a simple little technique we can use, and that is to swap these two around. Now if we did that, we would now have six over one divided by three, oh, sorry, divided by four over three because we've swapped them around. Now when we use that little technique, we can then change the division sign to a multiplication sign. And now we have a simple fractions multiplication uh, calculation that we can do here. And when we're doing that, we simply multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. And when we do that, we're going to end up with six multiplied by four, which is 24. 1 multiplied by 3, which will give me 3. Now, this is an improper fraction where we have the number at the top that's greater than the number at the bottom. So you can't have more parts than the whole itself. So to convert that now, what we need to do is just simply divide the 3 into 24. And we do that, we end up with an, an answer of 8. Okay, so just to check that, if you wanted to, you could do 8 times 3, which would be 24, to confirm that you've got the right answer. All right, so that's one way of doing it. We used fractions to come up with the right answer. And we did that because the question was talking in terms of fractions. But you might find it easier to speak a different language. So if you had a certain person speaking English and another person speaking German, it would be hard for them to communicate. But if you changed one of them, so let's get the German person to speak English or the English person to speak German and get them on the same page. If we do that, they can communicate. And that's what we did here. We took the six minutes and we converted it into a fraction, six over one. Now what we'll do is we'll look at the other side. So here we've got six minutes, but let's look at changing this to either minutes or seconds, which are gonna be able to speak to each other a lot easier than minutes and fractions. So if we've got six minutes and we divide that by this amount here, well, it's not quite even one minute, but we know that three quarters of a minute is 45 seconds. Okay, so now we've got a slightly different calculation. Now, you'll notice that it's actually exactly the same as this, but it's just speaking a different language. It's just a different way to get to the same answer. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one more step. As we did down here, we took one more step. We're going to multiply the six minutes by 60 seconds. Okay, that will give me 360 seconds. Okay, now I can divide that by 45 seconds. Okay, and now they're both speaking exactly the same language. And when we do that, 45 is going to go into 360 
you guessed it, eight times. Okay, eight times. All right, it's the same process. What we're doing is we're trying to take these two uh, numbers and we're trying to put them on the same pages as each other. We're trying to get them to speak the same language by either converting the six minutes into a fraction or the three quarters of a minute into seconds so that we can uh, more easily calculate the answer. Okay, so in both situations, of course, we're going to end up with eight. All right, I hope you found that helpful, guys. I look forward to chatting to you again in another video soon. Good luck with your exam. Cheers. Bye. Thank you.